This is the city, Hurricane, Utah. Just your normal, windy, small town in southern Utah. But when it snows here, that's when I go to work. My name's Sam. I drive a Jeep. The Jeep is Miss Kitty. The boss is Madam Snow Member. It was a snowy and windy Monday morning here. Visions of snow in Zion were on our minds. We decided to wait until after lunch to go to the park. By the time the afternoon rolled around, the snow and the clouds were gone. We arrived at the park entrance gate with no lines. Since one of us is now 62 and our annual pass was set to expire soon, we needed to get our lifetime senior pass. As we chatted with the National Park employee at the gate, she noted that Madam Pass Holder member should not lose the pass and it would need to be presented in the first person with her driver's license to gain entry to the park. Then the park employee stated that the pass expires when the holder does. We noted that Madam Pass Holder member would probably not have need of it after she expires. A ways down the road it occurred to me that I had messed up, so I told Madam Comedic Straight Member that I had made a mistake. Ever the one to play along, she asked why. I proceeded to tell her that because she was the card holder, I would not be able to bring any of my other girlfriends to Zion. She said something to the effect of, that sucks to be you. Midway through our excursion at the higher elevations, there were numerous situations where icicles had formed. In one instance, we just caught glimpse of a waterfall that was about three quarters of a mile up one of the canyons. I mentioned it to Madam Icicle Photographer member. She wondered if we could hike to it. I said that I thought it might be too cold today, but that we might come back to hike up there to see the icicle waterfall in July. Want to guess the look that I got for that one? Yeah. Next, for those who don't know, there is a long tunnel on the through highway section of the park. The tunnel is set up for two-way traffic with narrow lanes and relatively low clearance. When wide loads have to transit the area, the park has traffic control stations at each end of the tunnel. As we approached the east tunnel entrance, the park's employee stopped us at the entrance. She thought that Miss Kitty was over with for two-way traffic. As she walked up with the tape measure, I told her that Miss Kitty was 88 inches wide. Sure enough, she measured Miss Kitty at 88 inches wide. She said something about Miss Kitty being enormous. I thanked her for noticing and we were on our way. A bit later in the trip, we were up at the far end of Scenic Drive on the Narrows hiking trail. We had hiked up the trail a ways and had turned around to head back to the parking lot. All of a sudden, I heard a loud noise. I turned and looked up. There, a couple of hundred feet up and about 40 feet to the left of where we were, a bunch of ice and snow had broken off of the rocks and was creening down toward the walking path. I grabbed Madam Hiker member and we leaned into a nearby rock in case any of the falling material made it to us. Fortunately, it did not. A few moments of excitement and we got to safely witness something that doesn't happen for everyone at Zion. After almost 39 years, I'm pretty blessed to be married to my buddy who goes out wheeling every day that I go and who puts up with the in-cab shenanigans all day long when we are out exploring. I guess that we should hang out with each other a bit longer. And last, on our way out of the canyon, I noticed several deer grazing in the meadow. There was a male deer nearby, so I turned to Madam She Ought to Be Used to It By Now member and said that in order to make a more personal experience in the park, we were going to name the wildlife when we saw it, and that I would kick off the program by naming the deer. Any guesses? Yep, I named him Buck. Well, that about sums up another uneventful day on patrol. All the stories that you have just heard are true. The names of the wildlife have been changed to protect the innocent. If you like the video or want to keep up with our adventures, please be sure to subscribe to the channel 
and ring the bell so you don't miss a single update. Have a great day, everyone.